Chris Urovar, 71. Game shot on the first leg, Chris Landman. 4 0 for 1. Gets the treble. 10 for tops. Game shot on the third leg, Kevin Absolutely Painter. class from Painter because, more importantly, I mean, it's a great 1 10 out. It's the break back. A scan, and that will take you also to all the details you will need. You may see in the back of that corner as we have the first max of the night. That as long as he stays straight. But he does what Lamont does and slips the other side. Two options, trouble 15 tops, trouble 19 for double 14. 21. The cry of you're joking. 40. There's no laughing matter because Landman Game lands shot. tops to complete a 4-3 victory over Kevin Painter. Both players will feel that they should have got that game over the line. Chris Landman perhaps earlier than he did. 15.62, wasn't it? Game shot on the first leg. Ken Crabtree. Still remains the highest average at the venue. He won't expect a second invitation. Game shot on the and he won't get a second Ken invitation. Crabtree. And Crabtree is a leg away. Looking at his average, 97.26 with 12 missed starts at a double. Game shot. But and eventually match, pins Crabtree. the double eight. Gets over the line and despite 13 darts, missed at a double. Could be. Sean, you require 68. The end of that for Kevin. 68. McDonald. 13 and tops. Game shot. And tops is landed Sean and McDonald. the Punisher lives up to his namesake. Rashman's going to get a second bite of the cherry Michael here. Moore, 80. Should get it out at tops. Game and made no line. mistake Ridiculous. in pinning it to break the throw and lead 2-0. It's comfortable so far. A 93.94 average which means he's got the first two legs done in the space of 32. Rashman's going to get a second bite of the cherry Michael here. Moore, 80. Should get it out at tops. Game shot and made no line. mistake Ridiculous. in pinning it to break the throw and lead 2-0. It's comfortable so far. A 93.94 average which means he's got the first two legs done in the space of 32. Mike. Darts for Carry the match and for his place in the semi-finals have come and gone. And if this 84 is converted, he'll have sweaty palms going into game the final the game of the group. Hamilton. Because Hamilton's pinned the ball. Oh my, that hit the top of the wire and, well, nearly hit Carl. 77. Well, you can see how far back down the hockey Mike Gillett had to pick it up from. Carl, you require 112. This is huge. Lines of the travel. Got to make a decision. He's going to go 20. Double 16. Game shot the six leg, Kyle Hamilton. Travel 16, the double 10. Tops. Game shot. And tops and he gets, and Mike Gillett eventually holds on, taking the spoils. All three in the end and picking up his first win. Chris, you require 156. He couldn't, could he? Oh, double 18. To punish the punisher. Game, Game changer, oh, potentially. It's a break and throw as well. And a show and mark of respect for McDonald. In when he doesn't want tops, he hits it. <laughs> Sean, you require four. Oh, McDonald having a bit of fun with the crowd. 
Don't want to get him on site. Yeah. Hitting doubles is a good way to do so as well. That's exactly what he's done. A accountant, but surely the shots there is is yeah. one seven on seven. Leg, All irrelevant um, because Lamman's added a one three six to the one five six here in leg three. We know a heck of a lot more now, and what we do know is quite impressive. Game. And Sean McDonald is semi-final bound McDonald's. as the winner of Group 1 as he gets the better of the bookmaker's favour to win the week, Chris Lambert, by four legs of three. Two weeks' time, well, you know, just over a week's time, we start Champions Week where the winner takes away £20,000. Crabtree. So this four-level game at two apiece. Game shot on the fourth In it goes. Hamilton. And it's going to be nervous times for Mike Gillett now. Ken Crabtree has got the two legs that he already needs to go through into the semi final a little bit Fifth later on. But the first. important information now Game on. is who's going to join him. We require 96. Double 18. Game shot on the sixth leg. Ken Crabtree. <laughs> Is it going to involve Mike Gillett or Carl Hamilton after 10? That setup play is the shot that Mike Gillett would have dreamed of because it means Hamilton has to take out the 1 3 3, which he won't. And so can Crabtree to effectively send Mike Gillett through and to send his opponent home? Has two darts at double 16. Game. Sure. And it sneaks into the corner. And it's not just a win for Cam Crabtree, it's a win for Mike Gillett. He effectively gets the job done for two people. Be some money on show for that too. Double 16. Well, we don't know yet. Game shot on the first leg. 14 Mike dart breaker throw despite the max on throw. For Sean McDonald. It is two in his hand, a double ten. Game shot That's the capital leg. punishment. Mike, you require And eight. so, three clear darts in his hand to play in a match which is worth £5,000. This is a huge moment for Mike Gillett Game as shot. he finds the and double four that sends him into the final. What a tussle that was between the pair and what a mark of respect between the two players as well. Sean McDonald has played his heart out this week. It's been a successful return for the Punisher to the Super Series. Like I said, I don't, I don't think he's at his absolute brilliant best right now. 119. Makes what he's Chris require 80. already achieved this week even more impressive. Loves tops. 40. Buckles the wire. Can you require 32? That's a compliment, not a slight, <laughs> with regards to Cam Crabtree. Who only a couple of years ago himself Game was. the first leg. Cam Crabtree. Playing online during lockdown and averaging 50 and 60s and. Just steadily made. Second leg, Chris, to throw first. Improvements. Well, I think he's got this way that he can just switch Whoa! it off and forget about it. Oh, nice! He's forgotten about it as early as the opening throw of the next Whoa! leg. <laughs> They're at it again. Can you require 167 in week 10 of Series 3? I see one here. All about the approach play, and the approach play is perfect. Chris, you require 116. Taking a five iron and putting it within 12 inches. 80. Oh, how close was that? Can you require 36? Chris Lambert's mistake in this leg could be wiring double 18 for a 12. It was a mistake. Such is the standard in this match. And to be fair, 
Chris Lamb has missed three doubles in this match, but every single one of them Fortnite have been wire benders. In this time, Daniel double 16. Wire, 32. And this is to take full charge of the semi final, to break, to go 3 1 up and have the throw for the final. Game shot the fourth leg. The 13th answer to put himself on the brink. At tops, to depose of the favourite to win the week come Monday morning. Game shot. And can Crabtree oh, is Crabtree. going to go all the way through to the final. He beats Chris Lambert by four legs to one. And you can see what it means to him. He has a vociferously loud crowd supporting him here at the live lounge. And he is providing them with some excellent darts. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You're all very welcome to the action here at the live lounge in Portsmouth. It is the week 11 final of the Modus Super Series. We are live on Sporty Soft TV. It's now time to meet our finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing firstly from England, Cam Crabtree. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponents from Wales, it's Gilly, Mike Gillett! <laughs> Emmy requires 60. Well, we do know is in this first leg, Crabtree He's going to get the luxury of time to go on and win it. It's two darts at tops. Double ten. Game to take the, the opener Cam and Crabtree. take command of this final. It was a convincing opening leg win for Cam Crabtree there. How did one of those not go in? Game Is Crabtree. your name on pop, Cam lad? Crabtree. 16 dart breaker throw. 2-0 lead. It got to him. Mike, you're Big moment 24. for Mike Gillett. And it's a break of throw. Game shot the double. Actually, pins Gillett. a double. Sorry, Henry. Are you going to say anything important? <laughs> There's a quiet. <laughs> Fourth leg, Mike to throw first. Go back to that scoring. One hundred and eighty. require one hundred and sixty-one. Oh, this would be massive under the circumstances, under the pressure. One hundred and thirty-seven. Mike requires sixty-two. About second prize. This is huge. Double eight. Game shot on the fourth leg, oh. Mike Gillett. Just wow. Company as always. Managed to sneak out for a Game couple of shandies as Crabtree. Crabtree sneaks in the 32. Mike require five. The hardest bit about this is the single one. It goes to about the size of a postage stamp under this pressure. But he's got it. Can he use that? Just dink it over. He Game does. Shot the six leg. Mike do Gillett. go to a one leg shootout for five thousand pounds. Five. Welsh international, of course. One hundred and thirty-seven. Yet another Henry. And there's not much more pressure I can think of than representing your country in your chosen sport. Wow. One hundred and forty. Are we going to see the the perfect three fifty? Got him back in the leg. He's in again. One hundred and forty. What a last leg for Mike Gillett. One three six, one three seven, one forty, eighty eight after nine against the darts. Cam Crabtree quite simply needs something big 
and then hope oh, that Mike Gillett misses. At 140, Mike leaves him on 70. 88. But for Mike Gillett, is this his moment for Super Series glory? Doesn't recover the second dart. And so, Cam Crabtree, could this be your moment? Oh, Gillett will be fuming with himself 28. there. 28. To not get a dart at the ball. Cam, you require 70. Well, he's been on the back foot, foot with throw throughout the final leg. Double 16. 54. And he's missed the match dart. Mike and so Gillett returns. 60. It should be two at tops to get it done, to claim the win, and to secure his passage through to championship. Tops. Game. And Shot. it's Gillett's and glory of the Gillett. Super Series. Mike Gillett is our week 11 winner. He's going all the way to Champions Week. And just look at what it means to him. The sheer pure emotion runs from his face. A beautiful embrace for both players at the end of that one. That is the sheer emotion of a man that has realized a darting dream. Mike Gillett is our Week 11 champion. Cam Crabtree to part, stage left. What a week he's had. He just fell out short in the end. He had a dart to win it. But Mike Gillett is our winner in Week 11. Congratulations go to him. Let's hear from him now on the stage as he chats to our man, Chris Murphy and just a... Thank you, Henry. Uh, Mike, you seem overcome with emotion. Just tell us what you've been through tonight. Can't yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. He hasn't, he hasn't actually got any words yet. Um, look, last night, you were battling out in Group B. You could have not even been here. So yeah. how, would, how did you approach tonight? <sighs> yeah, uh, well, yesterday I remember um, uh, the very last game and... Uh, it was a uh, Sean and Arjun, and uh, it might have thinking, well, I'm, I'm done, because Arjun was playing so good yesterday, and t to be honest, he didn't really turn up on Thursday, which obviously, in hindsight, benefited myself, and, and I think if he did, I, I wouldn't be here this evening, but I guess, I don't know, I, I always back myself if I'm against the ringer, and, you know, I, I know I'm not the best player in the world, but I know that I keep at it, and I know that nothing bothers me really i just 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 try to play what i can play and yeah that's twice now so I, yeah well you yeah you did that there was another yeah. match you were sat in the back room mm. cam was playing up here he actually yeah. put you through somewhere to repay him isn't it yeah I, I was in the i was in the back room with the guys at the back and um uh like i, I wasn't cheering for anybody because um the guys are, are amazing like back back there and um like yeah, I, I wasn't wishing Cam to win because, you know, you know, I feel privileged to be here, to be honest, ultimately. And, you know, I feel really, really privileged to be invited. And, um, you know, maybe I need to believe in myself a bit more. But I think maybe that's the issue. Uh, but, um, but, yeah, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't, like, cheering on Cam or that, that, to get through to the group stages because, you know, it is what it is kind of thing. And I think maybe that mentality... I mean, Cam didn't play well against me that last final game then. And, you know, I got lucky and, you know, I, I always, yeah, I always try to do what I can do, really. And I, I think I'm, I'm a steady player. You know, I think I, um, if people don't play so good, I, I'll take my chances yeah. when I can. So, sorry, well, look, I'm talking a lot. Sorry, some, I'm talking a lot. Give yourself some credit. <laughs> I'm talking a lot. Never mind credit. We're going to yeah. give you some cash now. If oh, I can just turn you around. Oh, thank you. Henry Deacon, our commentator here, <laughs> oh. is going to come on and uh, present a check. Just oh, get you in the, the middle here, Henry. So, ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for our winner of Week 11, Mike Gillitz.